Now, ever since the very end of the sequel trilogy movies, a lot of Star Wars fans surprisingly remained very much divided over the overall franchise and exactly where things were going by Disney and Lucasfilm at the time. And ever since John and Dave joined with the Mandalorian series, we have been seeing a great improvement on their path and exactly where they are willing to go with the Star Wars universe moving ahead. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. Now that brings us to what has been going on between George, John, Dave, the Disney executives, aka the board members and the higher ups as well. That's really, you know, pulling the strings here and bringing everything together to really advance the franchise in ways that fans can never even imagine. Now, we already know that Bob Iger, the Disney CEO, is creating a very big plan to bring Star Wars back into the theaters again with multiple trilogies and multiple one-off films and to really kind of just expand Star Wars more and more each and every year. Now, they want to focus on quality-driven products and quality-driven TV shows and films at that. Now, they don't want to just put, you know, material out there just for the sake of doing it. They want to make sure that these stories are going to be very strong, that they are going to stick with the fans, and that's why they have John and Dave involved in multiple projects across the board, not just for TV shows, but also for Star Wars movies. Now, with that being all put out there, we know that everything related to the whole Bob Iger plan to get Star Wars movies back in theaters again and to really get Star Wars back into the cinema again. We also know that Bob Iger is, you know, really trying to create a name for himself. Now, with that being said, all right, with Kathleen Kennedy still having trouble with the Acolyte and Skeleton crew, Disney executives have been developing other plans for the future of Star Wars. Now, further, it's described that currently they are working on a full-on Old Republic trilogy of movies, the first of which is already in early development and that Disney is planning to make an official announcement for it by this fall. Further, it's described that currently they are focused on the main part of the first film, the focus on the origin story of Darth Bane, who created the Rule of Two that they want to be portrayed by actor Michael Fassbender. Now, the story is also set to focus on the character Darth Xana and the rise of both characters leading to their conflicts with each other, just like in the books. Now, part of the focus on the first film is to showcase the rise of, and downfall of the Master and Apprentice of Bane and Xana. In addition, this is described to also have another side story that will focus on Darth Revan his origin and his rise as a Sith and Dark Side warrior during the expansive era of this franchise. Now let me just stop right here for a second. Now, we already talked about this already before in the past that each Old Republic movie that's being planned out by Disney is going to have different side stories in each and every movie. So basically it's going to bounce back and forth between the ages and between, and between specific and different characters of course. So, when you look at it in that light, we already know that Darth Bane is a very well-established character in Legends, and we didn't really get him too much in the current canon. We don't really have him all that well explored. So, the big moment in the Clone Wars animated series is that, yes, you do get him in the form of a vision, but that's about it. Now, we know one other big thing is that Bane is going to be heavily explored in upcoming books by the end of this year leading into 2024 to kind of ramp up the familiarity for fans ahead of these Old Republic movies. Now, the thing about all of this is that some fans may not like Fassbender as Darth Bane. Now, that's Disney's focus right now. That could very well switch to somebody else getting the role. But for now, they are having all eyes on Michael Fassbender to portray the role of Darth Bane and Marianne Cotillard to portray Darth Xana. Now, I think that she's a great fit for the character of Darth Xana. You know, if you change her hair around a little bit, put her in a very specific, uh, you know, Sith, uh, Sith costume or Sith uniform, whatever have you, uh, that's built for the Old Republic era, I think that she could easily put on that image without a doubt. Now, the thing about this too, is they are also incorporating the story of Darth Revan in the first film of the Old Republic trilogy. 
And the one big obstacle that they are finding themselves in is who is going to play Darth Revan. Now, they already have Keanu Reeves set up for the role of Darth Vitiate. He's not going to become Revan as much as fans would like him to be. That was, of course, something that fans have been asking for, but that's not actually happening. So, it leads you to wonder, who will play Darth Revan? Who's going to fill in that role? Now, as of right now, George Lucas himself is currently helping out with who could play Darth Revan. The first film is planned to heavily feature the dark side power of Essence Transfer, and that John and Dave have already created notes to adapt the battle between Bane and Zana against each other in the first film of the trilogy that they are working very hard on for the fans right now. The plan by Lucasfilm is to use John Williams' music in these movies that were used in the prequels, just like in the video games, to make it a little bit of an homage to the games by Bioware. So basically what they want to do with these Old Republic movies, which I think is a grand plan by the way, is to basically use past John Williams music over the scenes, or the, even the fight scenes in the Old Republic movies. I think that this is brilliant, you know, they can remix it a little bit if they want to, they can change it to kind of add more value to John Williams music, they could do that if they want to do that, but I think that the direction that they're heading in, where each movie has like three to four different side stories, is superb. I think it's a great way to go about doing things, it's a different format, uh, it's different than the episodic films, and I like that. So, the fact that they are ramping up all their plans for these old Republic movies and how they are going to be making, by the way, an official announcement by this holiday season. It's most likely going to be during that earnings call by Disney in November, so keep your eyes open for that. Uh, Bob Iger is going to probably announce all of this later this year in one big shot. Kind of similar to what they did with the, uh, the Ryan Johnson trilogy back in November of 2016. But overall, guys, like I say, there's a lot at hand here. There's a lot of things going into all of this, and there's a lot of other aspects that fans need to be very well aware of, is that they are going to be planning on making these movies very dark and gritty. They're looking at Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, as a little example of how the tones are going to play themselves out in these old Republic Star Wars movies, basically. So that really brings you to wonder, right? Who's going to be the main writer of the Old Republic trilogy? We already know that Favreau and Filoni are going to be co-writers. That's about all we know. But who is going to be the main writer? Well, they already looked at Matt Reeves. They have had some meetings and discussions with him, but that's as far as it went. You know, nothing's official for Matt Reeves just yet. So I think that what they need to do is that they have to get a good writer, a well-established writer that has a lot of experience, that wants to do something like Star Wars, and Matt Reeves could very well be the fit. You know, I think that he did a solid job on The Batman, but I think that they could really get somebody even better than that, to be honest. So anyways, guys, fill me in below in the comments what you guys have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.